Felix Bloch and Edward Purcell discovered the magnetic resonance phenomenon independently in 1946. In 1999, the first truly portable MRI technology was developed, and already in 2003, there were approximately 10,000 MRI units worldwide and approximately 75 million MRI scans performed annually. As hospital MRI departments expand and the number of new private MRI facilities increase, a wealth of opportunities await those interested in a career in MRI technology. MRI provides the most detailed images available today. It's more accurate than any other imaging procedure. But what does an MRI technologist do? How can an MRI technologist contribute to the society? What are the functions and daily responsibilities of an MRI tech? Can one detect certain complications through an MRI? As an MRI technologist, we help save lives. We do this by early detection and non-invasive techniques. On an MRI, we can visualize soft tissue better than on a CAT scan or X-ray or even on ultrasound. We can see everything. We can see tumors. We can visualize the tendons and cartilage um, in the patient's body and other soft tissue abnormalities. As an MRI technologist, we save lives by finding the problem areas at early stages. MRI is a non-invasive imaging technique that does not involve exposure to radiation. MRI images of the soft tissue structures of the body, such as the heart, liver, and many other organs, is more likely to identify and characterize abnormalities and focal lesions than other imaging methods. This detail makes MRI an invaluable tool in early diagnoses and evaluation of many focal lesions and tumors. MRI has proven valuable in diagnosing a broad range of conditions, including cancer, heart and vascular disease, and muscular and bone abnormalities. MRI enables the detection of abnormalities that might be obscured by bone with other imaging methods. MRI allows physicians to assess the biliary system non-invasively and without contrast injection. The contrast material used in MRI exams is less likely to produce an allergic reaction than the iodine-based materials used for conventional x-rays and CT scanning. MRI provides a fast, non-invasive alternative to x-ray angiography for diagnosing problems of the heart and blood vessels. An MRI process is a very simple process, but at the same time, um, a patient has to be motionless. Usually an MRI is taking place in a uh, long tube-like structure. A patient is being put on a table and uh, the table is being slid into the uh, tube. Depending on which part of the body is being scanned determines how far into the tube you will go. A typical MRI may take 15 minutes up to an hour. It all depends on the patient. Um, for example, a patient may have a claustrophobia. In this case, the doctor may prescribe an open MRI procedure. Open MRI is basically like a sandwich. It's open on a side, you're in the middle. And because of the magnet is not that strong and it's not that loud, even you can choose what kind of music you want to listen between the scan. MRI exams are performed on all areas of the body. Different procedures are named according to the diagnosis being performed. For example, MRI for brain is called an fMRI or functional MRI. MRI for heart is called cardiac MRI. MRI for breast is called guided breast biopsy. These are just few areas of magnetic resonance. I worked in the airline industry for 17 years and at the beginning of my career it was very stable. Once the economy got bad, the airline industry really took a hit and it affected everybody's uh, jobs. So I looked for a credible option because I knew that I still needed to work somewhere for another 20 or 25 years. And everything for me pointed to the healthcare industry. Uh, healthcare industry till today remains very stable. You know, the facts of life are people are going to get older. People are going to get sick and they're going to get hurt. Um, I'm busy every day at work. Uh, being in the healthcare industry is not affected by the economy, which was a plus for me when I decided to become an MRI tech because I have a family. So longevity-wise, this was a great move for me. There aren't too many universities that provides MRI training. 
uh, the advantage of going through an academy is we're focused, the student gets focused training on the subjects in MRI technology and also uh, correlate it with their clinical training um, at the same time. For information on magnetic resonance imaging, visit. For information on American Society of Radiologic Technologies, visit. For information on Guernic Academy of Medical Arts MRI program, visit us at medacademy.org.